Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. So a few things I forgot to do. We're going to uh, build the Tinker Smeltery today, I hope, and we'll maybe we can get a bit of luck and we'll do the um some red get some redstone. Anyway, let's have a look at a few things I missed out last time. So let's get started. So one important thing I forgot to do was to put a hopper on top of the um on top of the um, iron sluice uh, because that allows automation to not have to right click everything all the time all they have to do now is come along here and right click this until we get up to about five minutes and then that will let it go and it runs for quite a long time so the next thing i want to do is actually let's take this out of here we've got enough gold now to in fact we've got some more gold here so we've got enough gold to do a gold mesh fact also i forgot to do this we should do a stone wand um <clears throat> much easier to grind stuff up well hammer stuff up with a wand it's a lot easier let's be honest it makes a huge difference anyway um i've got some been making some seared bricks so we've got reasonable number of seared bricks now but we do need a casting basin i forgot we really do need a casting basin so i'll make one of those straight away we need a casting basin to make the next part of the seared stuff. So let's get on with that one, shall we? So what I've got here is uh, some copper ingots and some seared bricks. Now these two sets of seared bricks will make two of these. That's a seven. Let's just take out of get up. I only want two, so I'll just do two like that. And that'll make two smell seared heaters. With the seared heaters, we put one of those in the casting basin and put into it four ingots of copper. So four ingots of copper I've got already. In fact, the easiest way to get four ingots, we probably need to turn this off by the way. A lever above that stops everything going. So four ingots of copper is simply 12 copper chunks. So one, two, three, and I've got, I've got nine here. So let's take those, that'll give us 12. We can put those together to make some some copper clusters and we put these three copper clusters into here like this and that should make four ingots so what we then do is we remove this uh, glass sieve it's now empty so that's no big deal well oh, i've also been upgrading my tools i'll show you how to do that so i've got now a stone pickaxe last longer um a little bit faster but not much so let's put down this this here and inside this we put one of these seared heaters into here like this and when that's melted, which it is already, I think, we can put those into here. And we should get, instead of that, we should get a seared con controller. Is that right? We get a, yes, a, a smeltery controller. Fantastic. So we can start to set this up. I'm going to put it in here for the time being. There's, to be honest with you, there's no reason not to do it in here. So we'll put it down. I think I'd like to put it down here. And it highlights this block here. I'm not quite sure why it highlights that block. But we also need a ooh, seared fuel gauge is what I need, I think. Or maybe mess that up. Maybe I should put seared heater. Um, I think I did mess that up, actually. That's, I, think we, I think I need a, a, fuel, a fuel tank, whatever it's called. Um, let's have a look at Tinker's seared again. So this is the classic one, you need the fuel tank, so we need the, the glass in the middle like that. So we can put this down over here, that's what I wanted eight of those for. Um, <clears throat> we shall do a very simple two by two, I think, to start with. So we, we've got some seared bricks, let's make some of these into seared bricks. Six is probably enough. So I want to do a two by two. We probably need a drain as well, so I need to put down four down here, which I obviously haven't got enough just yet. <laughs> By the looks of it, let's break up this. Jump down there. I'm not quite sure what it's highlighting blocks for down here. But it's probably wanting a drain, something like that. I would guess it needs a drain. Um, so let's make the drain. I think the drain is a seared drain like this. So this is two ingots of copper plus four bricks, which we should have enough of. So we've got that already. So we can then go and put this down. And I really should put this on the corner, shouldn't I? Um, yes, this would probably be a better place to put it. We'll bring, break this one up and put the drain down here. 
like that. And then we just need a couple more um, seared bricks. What have I got here? I don't think I can use the heat, which is a bit of a shame. So we need another 12 bricks. So we need 12 more grout in order to do that. I haven't got enough yet, but we should have enough clay to do this, I hope. Is that clay there, stone, clay. That's not enough. Um, actually, we can do it like this as it happens. That'll make six grout. It's not enough. We need to double it up. So I'm about to go and make some more. Oh, I've got some more bricks here. Look, I'm not, I'm not seeing them. So we'll do another six. I said I wanted, didn't I? So we'll put six out here. See bricks. So one goes down here like that, and then there's just two more. I think it's trying to tell us we've got blocks. It's not telling you what you, you need to put down here, but that's no big deal. And that should be it. Is it functioning? Yes, it is. You get the, once it's ready, you get the bits. So all we need to know now is put a bucket of lava into the, uh, into the fuel gauge here. So it's actually ready and running. So all we need to do now is to put some materials in there. So let's do that. Um, this automation here is just a simple hopper underneath the, uh, underneath here. So we can then go and do the same thing over this side. So let's just dig this down one block here and one block here. And then we can automate these two as well. In fact, I would need to go down two more blocks to put a chest down and then a hopper down here like that. Uh, <clears throat> I don't want to go, I don't want to go down there just to break that. Let's just, because I've got some iron clusters in here ready to do. So let's break this up now. I want the right tool, which is probably the Matic. Let's break that up and then we can break the, the hopper here and the basin, of course. I might have, my inventory might be a bit on the full side, but it doesn't matter. So what we'll do is we'll put down um, a chest down here. Once I put the chest down, I can actually go down and actually do something. So if I get stuck, you know, let's just put the chest down facing this way. And then we can just go jump down here. I should be able to jump out of that now. Yes, I can. Good. So we need the hopper to face that. Some revolting noises. <laughs> so we can then put the basin on top of this. Shift click it on. And then we can put the uh, ingot mask, but, uh, mask or cast into that place. And then we simply put into here the three of these things. I haven't got actually any faucets. We'll use, we'll keep those faucets we've got. We'll probably need some more anyway. So let's just make another pair of faucets so we can do this easily enough. So now with this, we should be able to put in four pieces of iron. We've got the iron clusters in here and that these will then smelt up. We should, instead of having in this particular case before we'd have got five ingots in a bit, we should get eight ingots of iron out of this. So let's go along here and put down a lever. So if I put a lever just on, a, put a block down here, for example, where's a good place? A block, a block of wood, I think would probably be fine. And then we can put a lever on top of that. I'll have to move the torch or on the side. It doesn't make any difference. Um, let's go and get this lever. Oops, I can't get through my glass door. <laughs> So if I put the lever on here, this should automate. So let's see if this does actually work. Where did the lever go to? And sure enough, that's automating. So the iron's going to be pouring out. There's nothing, in, that's the first one. So that'll keep doing this until everything's finished. We have another, we have another three. So we will put those in. So we should get, end up with 14 ingots. We'll let that run. While that's running, actually, we'll go and make sure we've got some more cobblestone in here. Make sure this is automated. This takes it out of your inventory. So, and that, that fills in there. We've actually got one bucket's worth of uh, of lava in here already to, for the next one. And these, these plants are sort of growing quite happily. I haven't actually got this very full, but right clicking it. One thing that is interesting is the, the frost melon. I say it's interesting. What it does, it actually just keeps generating snowballs. So we just get, it's a source of snowballs. We don't have to have break it each time to get 
this frost stuff. So we can just we keep doing this, putting it into here like that. Is that everything we need? I've got 11 gold. So the next thing we're going to do is make a gold. Um, no, we've got 12 gold. Perfect. So we'll put this into here like this. And we'll make some chunks. So we've now got four chunks, which will give us enough for four chunks, eight ingots, won't it? So we can put those into here like that. And as I said, what, how many ingots did we get there? 14. So we should get eight ingots of gold coming out of there now. So that's our ore doubling accomplished. So the next thing we would like to make is a gold mesh, because this is actually a critical one. It's the first level of stuff that where you can actually get all of the all of the bits and pieces you need. It's just slightly in less numbers. So if we have a look at the uses of this gold mesh, you see with sand in it, we now start to get a 13% chance of gold. We get a 53% chance of uh, iron. Which is pretty good and the rest of it, we get some prosperity shards in here with gravel you start to get inferior essence and we also get diamond and um we get diamond and emerald chunks so we can actually automate that so let's do that next while this is here let's come put this into here and let this run through again because i took the sand out of here didn't i I've got some sand in here, we'll put that sand in here. So we should start to get, hopefully, um, some more higher ratios of the stuff. So we've got iron chunks in here like this. Give it a quick sort and let that run. It won't run very long because we've only got a few. So the next thing we want to do is to make an automatic hammer. In fact, what I'll also do is start off and we'll click the rewards that we've been doing. So we did chunks and all, so we've got some we got eight or eight chunks of something plus an iron ingot, which we, which we saw doing it. So we get for that some iron. I've already collected that reward. Next one here is I've made we made cast iron and we get two more cast iron. And here when we got to the jar and we get a random reward, which is a, oh, an energizing rod starter. So maybe that was two things, I think. I don't know what those are, we'll put those away. <clears throat> like that. And have a look at the next reward. So we get to a bucket of lava, so we get a random reward for that as well. Basic crate. A basic crate I think we can actually make. Let's have a look at the recipe for the basic crate. It's just small crates with iron nuggets. We've got those already. Small crates are just slabs and um stripped oak i think it has to be stripped oak so we just we've just put this onto a chopping board i think a cutting board the cutting board is actually very easy to make it's one of these we should actually make one of those just four planks and two sticks let's make a cutting board because it's probably a good one to do anyway four planks like that and two sticks So you can then put this down. We'll put it down at the end of here. You then put onto it some wood. And then you can hit it with an axe. Oh, okay. I need to use an axe axe. Okay. So in fact, let's do that. What I wanted to also do was to upgrade this wooden sword here. And I want to make it with a stone blade here. You can make a stone blade and then that becomes a stone sword. So the stats improve a bit. So you get attack damage five as opposed to four. Um, mining up, mining speed is two, so it goes up. It's no faster in terms of attacking, but it's got three upgrades. Uh, both have got three upgrades. Yes, and that's it. Ability is one. So that's how you upgrade the tools. So let's make an axe now. So we, this is a standard axe. So we need an axe head, a binding, and a, and a rod. That's no big deal. We can do that. So we need an axe head. This one. We'll use this out of stone. Two pieces of stone will do this, I reckon. We need a binding, so we need some wood in here. We can make the binding out of paper or something else, which we, and, and a tool handle like this. But for the time being, we'll use standard materials. So we then put this into the tinker station with an axe pattern. Just push these three into here, and then we get an axe. And in fact, I think that's almost the last of the tools we can do. So we should then be able to, yeah, right click this, and then you get, and then you get watch your fingers. <laughs> 
it takes some damage and we got some stripped wood so now we can actually claim this we can actually use this basic crate it's actually a reasonable size crate as it happens in fact it's probably even better to put this down here so if i break this like that and then we can put this crate down here come back a bit that's probably got a little bit more capacity that's yeah i think that's what one extra row and it's got some upgrades the crate itself is getting full of actually we're getting a lot of copper and our copper's pretty good because we can take some copper we can take some tin wherever tin has gone to aluminium silver tin chunks we've got 50 of those and we can make in the smeltery some br uh, bronze now bronze is a very is a good material for almost everything as it happens so it's a it's a four to one recipe no, three to one i should say So we can put this into the smeltery like this. Oh, I need to turn this off so it has a chance to form the alloy. So we need one of these chunks here, plus three, three tin chunks, three copper chunks. We'll make, I think, eight ingots of bronze. I'm pretty sure it will. So we'll see. We've got two ingots of that. Yes, that's right. Plus six should make eight ingots of bronze. And bronze has actually got a very high eight ingots of bronze so if you actually look at this the bronze has actually got a very high um mining level i think it's actually equivalent so you can mine up obsidian with it let's get rid of this don't need this stuff so the next thing i'd like to make is um let's put those away here in this, in this chest is the automatic hammer so, uh, the iron automatic hammer is all we want to do first of all so we need an iron hammer should be able to do that no problem let's do that we, should, we also need some gold and some glass and some redstone now redstone is the first thing we need to do and that is we get that from redstone clusters through the tempered glass jar and this is redstone chunks and redstone chunks has got from gold 11 percent chance with dust so i've got to make some dust up first of all so i'll go and do that and i'll be back in a second so I've just about got three stacks of dust we'll put that into there and let this process so really what we need is just some redstone <clears throat> in fact we've already got some gunpowder and some charged surface quartz some silver chunks we'll get all sorts of bits and pieces we'll come to that in a minute when that's done its business um, I wanted to make the auto hammer didn't I so we needed to get a few more bits ready for that so all we were really waiting for was some redstone so we've got the iron we've got the We've got the glass effect. The only thing we're missing is redstone. So then another look at redstone dust because that's um I've got red here, but I think I need stone in there. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing redstone, or maybe something else. Oh yeah, seared stone. <laughs> Let's get rid of some of this. So redstone dust are these chunks here. So obviously you get a better turnout with with diamonds as soon as we get five four diamonds you're going to go and make a diamond mesh i think that's probably the most important bit and that's for yes four diamonds piece of string just like the gold mesh was but these redstone chunks let's look at the uses of the redstone chunks there's more than one way to do this so we can put it into a tempered glass and that will give us six we could crush it that will give us six a washing factory will give us some raw or meat redstone mechanical squeezer will give us actually a lot but a squeezer will also give us quite a lot so we were going to make the squeezer next so what do we have to do for the squeezer i think we can do that straight away it was a block of iron hopefully we haven't used up all the iron <laughs> maybe i have <laughs> i will get some more anyway so we can not much of a big deal the squeezer where's the recipe for that one I was looking at redstone chunks wasn't I so uses of that one squeezer so let's just finish this off we should be able to do that now squeezing like a boss an achievement um all you have to do with this is put it down somewhere like this in fact that's actually not a bad place because when you jump it will automatically put the items into this chest <laughs> so all we need to do is then get some redstone dust hopefully we've got some by now 
two. Not very many. Uh, hopefully we're also going to get some, we've got some Certis Quartz, charged Certis Quartz and Certis Quartz and Gold. Hopefully we get Iron. I'm not 100% sure if we do from, from Dust. If I'm not, I might have messed up a bit and I'll have to go and do some extra work. <clears throat> but we'll cook up this. Have we got any more grout in here? So it's a bit on the slow side, but it's working its way through this stuff quite happily. So once, once we've got four of these, we should be able to make three, a redstone, two redstone dust. I hope I've got enough materials. I'm just a bit worried I've run out of iron. Oh, maybe there's some in here. S14, fantastic. Whew, that's a bit of a relief. Right, we can do this, get rid of this gold as well, put this into here, make some more gold. Now molten bronze. I haven't done anything with the bronze. So the, I don't think there's a, a mix with those. We can put this back on again. We'll get these out of here. I should really make some casts now, shouldn't I? Um, for Tinker's Construct. So with a bit of luck, we will have four. Not yet. I'm waiting for four of these. Once we've got four, we've got a chunk. We can then crush it. We'll get at least eight, which is enough for four of those machines. There we go. Right, good. So we can let the rest of that run through by itself. Now we just put this into the squeezer, like this, and then jump on it. As you jump on it, you see it go down. And I think that's it's done. And then you need to give it a redstone signal for it to come back up again. And we got 12, so really good. That was a really good return. So let's quickly make a redstone, another a button will do actually, for that matter. One, one plank. One button. I just put the button in front of it. Or maybe, ah, I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll use a pressure blade. Probably easiest, won't it? Then we can just walk on it and it'll push it back up automatically. Like that. So now we've got these, so we can actually complete the hammer. So, that, oops, wrong. Let's try that again. Let's go and complete the automatic hammer and have a look at what that does. So, where were we? Well, let's have a look at the uses of the hammer, uh, iron hammer here. That might be the easiest way to find it. In, oh, I'm missing one ingot. I didn't get the ingots out of the chest, did I? Right, so, so now we can should be able to make it up. The uses of this. One auto hammer. And this is actually slight, it's fairly simple to use, but it does require a particular direction. So we've got in this chest here, we've got some cobblestone. And I'm pretty sure if I put this on this side like that, it's going to start working. And if you look at it in here now, you'll see it's got two uh, gravel. So to get the gravel out, all you have to do is put another chest beside it. Or you could put another, um, another auto hammer. So let's we'll put down the chests because I've got plenty of chests, I hope. Yes, I've got 27 in here. But if we right click this onto here. So now we're getting gravel coming into here, as you can see. And this will fill up. This will carry on. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Axe is good. This will carry on producing cobblestone. Probably at a faster, a fa almost a faster rate than this is going to use it up. It's about equal as it happens. Uh, so then we're going to end up with lots of gravel in here. So between this episode and the next episode, I hope to make a lot more of these. What have we got in here, son? I've got a few bits and pieces happening. In fact, it's still running. How much have we got in here? Still oh, just over and a half stack. So maybe with a bit of it, we'll get some more bits and pieces. We haven't got any diamonds yet, though. I was hoping to get some diamonds with some dust. Actually, look in here. Let's have a look at the use. And maybe we don't. Maybe we have to use gravel for that one. Oh, well, that would be good. Uses. So sluicing will give us dust. Oh, it doesn't give us any iron, does it? So we get some skystone dust, some sort of got basically it's an applied energistics one, this by the looks of it. Yeah. That's the same, it's almost I think it's the same with gold. This one's better, of course, because you're getting blocks instead of an ingots, so it's smelted. But the blazing mesh, the recipe for this is rather hard. So it's <laughs> it's a trick. Fusion crafting and Draconian evolution, so that's a bit on the difficult side. But we have got another quest completed. What did we complete this time? Oh, I didn't finish all these, collecting these off, did I? So we get some more cast iron ingots. 
how many have I got now? I've got 10. That's good because we can use those later on. So we'll get rid of these, put those in here. Well, we don't need the iron mesh for the time being. We do need these meshes, by the way. They, they, they don't lose their value because certain things will only be, grow, use, be produced from an iron mesh or a cloth mesh. So, for example, what did I want to do now? I want to have a look at the other quest, didn't I? So we've done the glass jar and we get a bucket for that, which is nice. And oh, yes, that's all right. We've got a, a reward from the, I noticed that one. We've got the auto hammer, then we get a random reward for that. A garden, oh, a garden close. That's pretty good. That's uh, in massive engineering. And these work really well. Oh, we've got four of them, actually. That's pretty good as well. Was there anything else I picked up in here? No, I don't think so. We finished off the quest now. So look, no, still some more to go. But they've finished the base, most of the basic stuff. The this one we'll be doing next, the auto jar processing, um, and the other sluice as well. Diamond sluice we're not quite ready to do yet, but we have finished some other stuff. So in most of engineering, we've got the garden closure, which gives us a random reward, a meat feeder, fantastic. Again, we'll put this away. We don't need that for the time being. Let's have a look at the rest of the quests. So that was the one that was done in here. We've done powwow. So what we did we make an energizing rod, another random reward. So as you see, we got a ranged add on upgrade from industrial for going. That's also handy. It will be good automated farms and ranches and all the rest of it. What else have we got? I saw one more quest, miscellaneous. Oh, yes, we did the stone one, and we get another random reward. We get a singularity tank. That's actually quite a good tank. In fact, I don't think it's that difficult to make. So, well, the recipe for the singularity tank is, ah, yes, we can actually use that iron and glass. That's no big deal. So we could use that for any sort of tanking thing that we need to store fluids with. Um, I'll put it down there for the time being. Now, I think this holds 32 ingots, um, 32 buckets. It's quite a big tank. Is that all of the quests done? No, we've still got some more. I think that's probably when you've done one, it actually gets rid. Oh, yes, we got, we've done the cobblestone generator. And we get for that another basic crate. Okay, that's fine. We can put that down as well. Where did I put the other one? Over there. I'll put this one down here for the time being. We can use it for other bits and pieces, whatever we want to. Um... Is that all of them? Yes, that's all of the quests now. So, let's do this. The jar auto-processing block. Not too difficult. We need a piston. That's fairly straightforward. We've got redstone now. So we can do that. We need a dropper. Which is, again, so just cobblestone and redstone. That's no big deal. And then we need... Um, another hopper let's make that we should be able to make another hopper that, like that and then we can make this jar auto processing block because we've already got the cast iron as, as rewards from what we've already completed so this now is great because what this allows us to do uh, i need to take those cast iron pipes with us i'll put that away don't need to force it to the moment <clears throat> so what we can do here is we can break this pipe here like this, we'll do that. And then we can put in its place this auto pressing jar. So right click, let's just right click on there. So that's now above here. And then we can also put on the other side of this a chest. Let's do that. And then we can feed this chest into here with the with the cast iron tube like this. Get it on the right one, of course. And then we can put some cobblestone into here, for example, and that will then start to make cobblestone automatically. So we just have to click run on here like that. And then it's going to carry on producing lava for us. So now we've got some buckets. Let's just take the three buckets. I think we've got two buckets of lava in here. Let's just, yes, two buckets of lava. So we can go and put this straight away into the small tree. Let's do it in the right place. like that so the smeltery is nice and full for the next recipes that we want to do the next thing i'd like to have done of course is to put down the oh we haven't broken it up yet have we? let's go and break it out of here i'm fairly sure we don't need anything from in here for anymore 
but there's no guarantee so we'll just keep we'll just keep the bits for the time being just in case you know it might be a slight problem where I've put this because it's going to then going to also at the same time as we're going to get a, a redstone signal for stuff to go into here which I don't want it to do oh that's no big deal is it I can easily sort that out well, all you need to do is put down some seared bricks down here like this and then we can put the faucet on top of this one and then if I put a lever on each of these faces it might work just as well let's have a look So yes, a lever, we've got the lever here. What I'm curious about is whether it'll go into here. So what have we got? We've got nothing in there at the moment. We've probably got a lot of stuff. Let's go and melt some more copper. I'm curious as to know whether it goes into the wrong place or not. So oh, we've got gold. Actually, gold's good. We'll do gold. In fact, we've got a load of our gold, gold now. So that's going to give us 20, uh, 10, 10 ingots of gold, isn't it? So let's put the gold into here. I'm curious as to know whether or not this is... Oh, I could actually put another hopper on this and let it automatically feed in. Uh, I hope we've got enough iron left. Yes, I have. So let's make another hopper. We'll do, it, we'll do this using this recipe we just did. Like that. And then we have a reasonable amount of smeltery automation. Just put the shift clicker on the top like that. And then we can push the, these into here. Now, what's happening? If I turn this on, it's not pouring into here. Great. Okay, good. So it's just going to pour ingots, which is great. In fact, what I do is I can turn it off. And we can actually make another cast now. So, for example, I've got... Um, let's make a pickaxe cast. I've got plenty of I've got plenty of pickaxe heads because I made too many. I shift clicked, <laughs> shift clicked them in, and um, <clears throat> I made it. Ended up with six, eighteen pickaxe heads. Anyway, no, my mistake. So we can right click this one on here, and then we'll get the pickaxe head here like that. Uh, I don't want the pickaxe head just yet. We can also do put the ingot down here and let it carry on running. Filling, filling is up with some gold. It doesn't matter. I've got it all in one place. But bronze we can melt and make a pickaxe out of this one. So, for example, let's put the bronze into here. We need two ingots for a bronze pickaxe head, for example. Turn this off. Oh, do not put down the cast. You can actually use these casts, a blank cast, anyway. Let's have a look. Bronze ingots two. Okay, so let's. I want this out of here and put down the cast now for what we want. Like that. Pour that into here, and then we've got a bronze pickaxe head. Put that. Put, put that there. Cast mold as well. Uh, we used. We, we couldn't. And once upon a time, put these into here. We can actually resmelt these back again, so which is fine. So I'm going to resmelt those. And let it run through and we'll produce more ingots of gold so now with that we can then we can then put change this pickaxe that i've got here which is a stone pickaxe for a bronze bit of pickaxe where's it gone to oh of course i didn't pick it up did i let's pick it up and then and do that it's gone to here like this so we now have a bronze and you'll see this is the mining level is diamond which is equivalent to um a diamond pickaxe so you can break obsidian with it in fact it gives us some other bits and pieces so we've got a 12 percent mining increase in speed um and it's got what piercing pierce damage that's good for armor <laughs> So that's it for this episode, I've achieved quite a bit. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.